the educational system. First of all, the liberals are making our children learn things like geography. Who cares where the terrorists come from? If our children know about other countries, there's less time spent teaching them about America's superiority. You don't need geography to kill terrorists. Uh, if I had all the time in the world that I've wasted on explaining things to women, here, let me let me explain something to you, right? Public education is another lie. Okay, in this country, the they let the drive, science. Drive. The science is good when it teaches you how to turn a million ungrateful foreigners into class. That I'm, that, that I'm giving a thumbs up to, okay? That's a great discovery. But don't tell me that anything that I do causes a problem. I don't want to hear that, because you're the problem. You know why? Because this is the land of the free, not the land of the free lunches for minorities, okay? I don't care if they are the ones serving it. They shouldn't get it for free. Okay, we've got a live terror sighting. Hello, you're on uh, the Richard Bastion Show. Yeah. Shit's religious. What is, what is it? What's going on with it? I'm sure it is. It's in a different fucking language. It's Spanish or something. Well, that, that, is, that is a sure sign. Okay, now what you're sitting across from right there is Al Conqueso. They're Spanish terrorists, the worst kind. Okay, they're, they're already infiltrated into all our shitty jobs. You know, you, you see them outside, uh, you know, at various hardware stores waiting to just the next strike, okay? They're the most dangerous of all. I can't oh, stress that out. Now, now, you know what you have to do, don't you? I sure do. I'm on 20. of my penis. I, I mean, hey, this is Jeff. Yeah, you remember that happy-go-lucky guy? The one you told about his two-faced cheating slut of a wife? I just took some photos. But yeah, uh, how you doing now anyway? You leave that bitch? You can say I uh, cut some ties. Meet me at the garage off Silicon Street at the northeast corner of Middle Park. I need your help. Outside the law to catch a bad guy. Okay, you see it in movies all the time. What further proof do you need? Go on to the phones. Yeah, um, I want to talk about that guy's penis. It sounds awesome. No, 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 no. Next caller. Hey, this is Mike Meeples, and I'll tell you what's wrong with America, man. Stupid people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a problem. In old America, the, the America I fell in love with, we dealt with stupid people very discreetly. Okay? Now, now I don't know if it's if it's something in the water or, or the lack of separate water fountains, uh, but it's like a plague has taken over. I mean, I've, you know, I've had it with the homosexual agenda. No, thank you. Leave us the hell alone. And with that, we're out of time. We'll see you next time on The Richard Bastion Show. Stopping global warming has finally gotten cool. Street style meets environmental concern with the seriously bad, morally good, fully customizable luxury Why can't style people thrive hybrid in this sedan. Guy? The Karen Dilettante. Expensive, but the earth is worth it. She'll swoon at your low exhaust emissions and maybe make you do a bit of exploring of her exhaust too. If you understand real bling, you can make it run an expensive champagne and fine cigars. Save the planet for only $39,999. Karen Dilettante. Bad plus good equals better for everyone. WKTT. Because in the war on terror, it's kill or be killed. WKTT 1066. Justice is a game. Just like a game where you play doctor and the other boy takes advantage of you. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. I got a bit of a problem. Bit of a big fucking problem. What's going on? Yeah. Jeff really did it this time. Jeff went too far. Jeff's been a bad boy. A really bad boy. What are you saying, lunatic? 
Remember my wife, Shirley? She had an accident in the kitchen. What kind of an accident? Oh, the kind of accident where you stab yourself 50 fucking times with a kitchen knife? You fucking whore. Fuck my friend, will you? Huh? Well, who's laughing now, bitch? Huh? Not you, you fucking dead whore! Hey, buddy. Whoa, calm down. Hey, fuck you! Don't be an idiot. Know what you want me to do? Get rid of her and get rid of the car, hey? Okay, but it's going to cost you. Five grand. Sure, whatever. Give me the keys. Put the gun away. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Oh, Jeff, really messed up this time, didn't he? Oh. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we getting paper. Hey, tell me again, we get my paper. I'm in the hood, top down. Put my jury on, jury on, jury on. I got my goons on. Niggas, is you with me? My bitches, is you with me? If you got a problem, a sucker, come and get me. Here's LeVar Davis and Angela Allen. You two used to be in a relationship. And Miss Allen is suing you for $5,000 to fix damages to a car you did with a baseball bat? Mr. Davis, can you explain yourself? Your Honor, that female is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like the truth to me. Court is adjourned. Hey, you're not even gonna hear my side of it? Oh, well, shit. We got some time to kill. Why not? Approach the bench, Miss Allen. Okay, yes, Your Honor. Now sit on my lap. Uh, okay. There, there. Isn't that better? Now tell me what happened to you, baby, while I stroke your back. Well, I was together with LeVar for a year, and he started acting real crazy. Hey, what are you doing? Shh, woman, woman, shh. Calm down. I'm soothing you. It's part of the legal process. Now, Mr. Davis. Yes, Judge Grady. I mean, we were together for a while. She was fine. She carries herself well. I got rid of that body for you. You should be clean. Now all you need to worry about is your conscience. The whore! She brought this on herself. Practically stabbed herself by letting him give it to her. Thanks. Don't be such a poser. You're insured. Don't try anything you might regret. Television, you win all the fucking shitty singer competitions on TV. For real, leave me alone. Esta vaina está pasado. I'm peeling, bro. I'm having fun. Are you? from South Carolina. How do I know it's my baby anyhow? The DNA test says so. What is DNA? I've never seen it, and I'm an accountant. How are you gonna believe in something you can't see? I can't see the wind. Ain't that the truth? I ain't never seen DNA or stem cell. Or 
a law degree for that matter. Kick I'm going to have to retire to my quarters and think about things. Judge Grady has taken Miss Allen back to his quarters to discuss his decision. Let's talk to a few people in the courtroom audience. Sir, what do you think? Who's in the right here? He really has a lot of explaining to do. He pushed her down the stairs. That's no way to get rid of a girlfriend. And what about you, ma'am? I'm going to try that thing with you. Just or unjust with a case of the scratch truck and the underage fuck. Oh, Judge Grady is back in the courtroom with his decision. Okay, all rise. Please be seated. Now rise again. Now get down. Here, here. Yeah, that's right. This portion of Just or Unjust is brought to you by America's next top hooker on CNT. Okay, you know how this works. Courtroom audience names the game. The defendant and the plaintiff have to play it. How should we decide this case? Make them eat glass! Put a box of bees on their head! Cannibalism! Let us eat them both! Gladiator King! Gladiator King! Gladiator King! Gladiator King! Okay, we haven't had this one in a while. Both of you step into the cage. Okay, on the floor, you will find a sword, a mace, a flail, a hammer, and two tridents. Choose your weapon. Okay, now are you ready? Yes. Release the lions. Hey. What the fuck? Just or unjust. I'm a brain surgeon. The knot can really get to you. But thanks to overzealous laws, I can't light up a cigarette or do shots to relax my nerves. With the Alcatine patch, it really lightens the mood. Especially after an unfortunate patient death. The Alcatine patch is the same refreshing feeling of 12 beers and a pack of cigarettes all at once. And now when you crash your sports car through the front door of a fast food restaurant, You'll pass a breathalyzer. The Alcatine Patch. It's half alcohol, half nicotine. Delivered transdermally and discreetly, so you feel relaxed and refreshed. Pick up the Alcatine Patch at your local pharmacy today. Uh huh? That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. Huh. <laughs> What about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chow. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we can talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat. No, the guy with the, you know, the but the beep the poop. Yeah, the guy with the and the. <whistles> yeah, that guy. Yeah, I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. 
Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're gonna ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now, business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it, no problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. I'll be in touch, Nikki.
Come on! This heroin is cursed! You don't fucking want it! Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house off of Fever Head Avenue. You know the one I mean. They'll be waiting there. Now you're gonna do nothing, right, Julie? Yeah, I'm totally frigid. That's great. That's great. Abstinence from sexual activity. 
it builds up hormones. Okay, listen to me. This is science. This is me using science for good. Abstinence builds up hormones. Abstaining for a long time produces a euphoric feeling. Okay? It, it is nature's antidepressant. Say it. I will not come on to men. Say it with me. I will not come on to men and sodomy is a sin even if I crave it. Okay, good. Now I take that pledge every morning when I wake up. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we can ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. got this wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after him. 